Hi friends, in this video I'm going to be talking about how I am going to be using this beautiful checklist layout from the Happy Planner and set up my planner for the first month, which is the month of July. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here, I'm Amy with Amy Plans Things. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so first, in any new planner, we need to decorate the name page. So let me think if I want to use stickers or do my name. Let's go ahead and just do my name. This is very kind of neutral. So let's just go ahead and use black with a gray, just to keep this all nice and simple right here. I'm usually very colorful on my pages, so this is a weird name page for me, but that's okay. So don't be scared of writing in your planner. I know things aren't perfect. Look at that. It's not perfect at all. Um, it's a little fuzzy over here, <laughs> but that's okay. It's you and it's um, your planner. The ultimate goal is for you to use it. Um, so things don't need to be perfect. All right, I'm just putting a little shadow in this and then we will call it good. All right. So name page is done. This layout is gorgeous and it's got all these things. I'm, oh, I should tell you, I'm gonna use this one for social media. I have tried dashboard layout before, which a lot of people use for social media and I just can't get it to quite work for me because I like putting down the tasks that I wanna complete day by day. Um, and so that task list and the dashboard doesn't really work for me. So this checklist layout I think will be perfect. I'm not sure what, if anything, I'll use over here yet, but let's go ahead and go through how I'm going to use the currently page, the monthly page, and the weekly page, and then we'll go ahead and decorate the monthly for this month. All right, so this page, it has priorities, important, and take note. So what I think I'll do is put down the top priorities for the month for, uh, this is kind of social media and business, for social media and business. So um, here I'll put down like my top priority for my social media channels, my top priority for my Etsy channel, Etsy channel, Etsy shop, which is a new shop and it's a printable shop. Super fun, go check it out. And then maybe something else big that I need to remember. Like if there's a big release from Happy Planner or one of the shops that I'm wrapping for or something like that. And then here I was gonna put some boxes in to put in monthly stats so I can put where I start and where I end in the month and track that. And then here was gonna be kind of like wins and areas to improve in terms of how things are going with um, all of this because this is a awesome hobby and I want it to be something that I'm truly enjoying and something that I'm really looking at and making the most of my time with. So as this YouTube channel grows, looking at what's going well and what videos did I really like, what videos did you all seem to really like, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So kind of tracking that here. All right, then on the monthly page, I'm going to, my videos jump around all the time. I've tried to plan day by day and week by week um, and things get swapped around all the time but here I was going to put down releases for all the rep teams I'm on and for Happy Planner and uh, make sure that I have all the information that I need here so the date that I can share things and the date that they release so I can just have them here and then I won't put any of my videos in here because it's constantly jumping back and forth but I will put them into the weeklies you know the week before as I figure out my content calendar for the next week. So how I'm going to use this page is there's this nice section here that's blank, this nice dot grid section here, and these checklists here. So I have three areas I need. I need tasks, things like that I want to film or edit. I need a section for my posts so I'd put down some boxes for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube and write down whatever I have that day and then a section for releases so that I know what's releasing and what I need to share like in stories and all those things. 
um, or go purchase um, <laughs> if there's something I want to go buy. Um, so that's how I'll be using this. It may not be overly decorated, but I will still want some color and some decorations in it. Okay, let's just go ahead and I'll fill things out later because I don't know what's coming up in July yet. But let's get some decoration and some boxes down so that I can fill it out easily later. All right. So I wanted to use for this page the new Color Story Floral sticker book from the Happy Planner. This is part of their summer refresh. And let's go ahead and use these yellows because they are so pretty. And to go with them, there aren't a ton of boxes to go with them. I have a stack of Mojo Jojo Clan sticker books and the summer one has some bright yellows that I think would look really nice. Let's take a look. Yeah, those will go perfectly. So let's go ahead and get some florals down first up in this important corner. <laughs> And then I'll get some boxes around it too. Okay, so we've got one. I'll need to trim off that little edge. Let's get another there. Okay, so then we need the boxes to have enough space to actually track things in. So these will be for just counting um, stats. So I need three for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And then also on YouTube, besides just like followers, I will want maybe a couple more stats. I need to decide which ones I want to track. But we'll just put, you know, two more boxes down. This is a huge set of boxes right here. How do I want to lay them out? I know I want like five things in here, so I'm just trying to figure out the best way to have it. Just moving this one over a little bit more, giving a little more space. And maybe not laying these ones on top of each other. Yeah, I like how that looks better. Okay, so I'm not gonna write in this now, but these will track uh, TikTok and Instagram. This will probably be the YouTube section, and that'll just like have some stats in it. And then take note, let's just look at these fun quotes over here. And this I said was kind of like checking in with what wins and what um, I feel like I can work on and all of that. So let's find a quote that's about, let's see, dreams don't work if unless you do. Beautiful dreamer. Let's do the beautiful dreamer one. And just put it right here over the take note. And let's go ahead and just add some washi down here. Um, I'm gonna need a few strips, I think, because this isn't long enough. And I don't really know what I'm gonna be writing on this yet so I don't want to put too many boxes down here to um, mess it up until like I know how it's all going but let's put one more quote down here and then we'll leave it blank and figure out how I want to do it later so let's do the it's okay not to do it all <laughs> I gotta do what brings me joy and what helps me in my planners not just what I feel like I should, what other people are doing, you know. Um, that's a good reminder for you, too. Um, do what you want, not what you see other people doing. 
All right, so that is the currently page for this coming month in the Social Media Business Planner. And then this page, maybe let's just go ahead and use the same um, sticker book. That would work well. And I'll, I can put down boxes or use a mile miner when I know what different release days are. So we're just going to decorate around it and not decorate inside because I don't want to uh, mess anything up because I don't know when any releases are at this point yet. Um, <laughs> so... We're gonna go ahead and just get some fun stickers down on the side and kind of decorate this bar right here. And that's probably it for the moment. I like this. Uh, that's too much of the same yellow right there. Let's use this one. Look on the bright side. Just put it like that and we definitely can get a box or two right here. Let's go with this one right here as a little notes page. And we actually, do I want just a little piece of what? No, it already has that border there. Never mind. <laughs> looking for something that'll fit perfectly right there. That's a little bit too big. Put that back down. That one's about the same size as that one. Okay. Let's just do the high five sticker then, just to fill that in. We are gonna do florals all along this. Do I wanna white it out? Sometimes I white these out, yeah. Since we're making a big collage of them, let's just go ahead and white this out. So, and a lot of times I would trim it where it goes over, but I think this time I like it hanging over because the rest of the spread will not be decorated like hardly at all right now. So it's great to have it kind of over the edge just to push out how far it's decorated. I don't know if that made any sense or not. Um, early morning ramblings. <laughs> but... Um, this will all be filled in later, so for now, it's nice to have it kind of all over the place. Mm, what can go right there? Ooh, this one looks like it'll fit pretty well. It is going to go over that Sunday quite a bit, but I'm okay with that. All right, let's do the other side of it. Hmm. This looks like a nice kind of cornery piece. Just trying to figure out how to fill it in. Just one little thing left. This one might fit pretty well. Ooh. Okay. So you just kind of got a big sticker explosion up here, which is great. 
and let's go ahead and put just the tiniest bit right here just to kind of draw it in because we've got a lot over here. So we're just going to do like literally that with two tiny stickers to pull it up just a little bit more. And that's it. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. There's the monthly, and as I mentioned, I'll be filling it in with release dates as I know them. So say I learn there's something on the 17th, I'll like create a highlighter box or grab a box from the sticker book and then write down what it is. But I don't wanna add those in um, too early because sometimes like I learn of something and then a week later the date changes. So I'll probably add it in, you know, closer to the date to just fill it out. Okay, so moving on. Should we just decorate the first week of the month as well with the same sticker book and see how it's going to work? That sounds like a good idea to me. All right. So what we have is this. The check boxes don't mean anything, but we can decorate around the rest of it, especially, um, does that do this? Yeah. We're gonna make a section that I can fill in the release dates on the weekly as well. And that may not have release dates on every day. So we can really kind of decorate it. We want a little bit of space in case there are releases, but we don't need to do too much. So that's gonna be this bottom section. And then the top section will do for my daily posts. And this also has like my Etsy stuff. So that'll be part of the daily tasks. And it's a little too short. Oh well, we'll find something to put there. Maybe just a floral. Okay. Um, where did, there are those scissors. I was like, I just had them. <laughs> um, but so my Etsy shop stuff will be interspersed with this because sometimes I'll have posts about it. Sometimes I'll have tasks about it. Sometimes I'll have a new release um, with my Etsy shop and so on. Okay. We're just going to use these because we have them and I haven't, I like finishing pages. So we're gonna put one here. And one right down here. And then that page is done, woohoo. Okay. So then we can just add in some fun things on this bottom part because it won't be fully used up. So this can really be where any decorations go um, to add some color to the page. And then to add this grateful and happy down here. That's looking pretty good. We do have this one more sticker from this page and let's just go ahead and put it here. Yeah. Do we want another quote sticker in here? No. Right, so then we can put in some stickers on the sidebar as well. So let's get one of these quotes. I like this dreams don't work unless you do. 
I like that it's kind of gray because it just adds another color to the page, which is really nice. Got something stuck there. And then let's add in one box right here. Let's do this green one to go with the green from that. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is add some boxes from Mojo Jojo Clans. These bright yellow ones again. So I'm just taking a peek. Ooh, check boxes on them too. Okay. Just trying to figure out what size boxes I want to use and what I have enough for. So let's just count um, how many of the little ones I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have at least seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, I could do three of these in each box for my posts. That would work. So this is like gonna be super functional and not like the prettiest thing <laughs> up here because it is super functional, but maybe I'll offset them. So there's a little bit of fun. And I wonder, let me just look really quick in here. I can use those yellows in a minute. I have this one. Yeah, okay, we're gonna add a little more decor into these by putting down some boxes like this to layer some stickers onto. And this one says hello today, but we will cover up that with a sticker or have it fully showing. I'm not sure yet which. <laughs> okay, so then there's a little bit of fun to look at on the page and we'll add those in in a moment okay we got a plan so I'm just doing one at a time in case I miscounted <laughs> um we'll just get one of the weeks or one of the sets done because I can always add in another color of boxes I can always add in um, some mild liners on the ones that aren't, um, that don't have boxes on them already, um, the decorative boxes. <laughs> so we'll see. And how I use this may change. This is just my initial gut reaction to how I'm going to use the checklist layout for social media and business, but... I am not going to promise that it will always be that way. <laughs> okay, um, if I'm doing this, this one needs to be lower than, yeah, this one needs to be at the low setting, and then this one will be one up, and then I'll do the middle one last so that I can try to perfectly center it. Keep checking the monitor. I'm expecting someone to wake up at some point. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've got a six month old and a four year old and early mornings seem to be the time that I can get these things done. I'm most awake and able to think and able to have a moment to plan. But you know, babies wake up, they need food. My four year old sometimes wakes up early. Um, but right now they're doing good. And I've been setting up my planners, my new planners for their first month, which is awesome. I love this time of year when you're setting up a new planner. Okay, that'll work. It's not quite perfectly centered, but I think it's fine. 
I do like that I added this. I think it adds a little bit more um, flair to the page. <laughs> and I think it really, really needed it, especially with how these are going to be so even with the uh, little boxes. <laughs> Let's see. Try to get that lined up as well as we can. And I will not be sharing um, too many um, photos or plan with me videos on this planner or some of my other planners. I have a lot of planners going on and I need to prioritize which ones I want to do plan with me's for. So I think mostly my plan with me's are going to stick with my catch-all planner and my creative journal, which are classic vertical happy planners. And those are the ones I love decorating the best. So that's probably what you'll see mostly on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis other than these monthly setups. Unless you go to my Instagram because I'll probably show before the pens of, you know, everything over there. All right, so there we go with that. And let's put it back in and take a look at how these three different pages all look together. Um, I really like that I actually use the same sticker book and theme for the whole thing. It's super fun and the yellow is super bright and happy. So let's take a look. All right, there's the currently page. There is the monthly page. And here is the weekly page for the first week of July. All right. So I hope this was helpful to you to see how I'm going to be using the checklist layout. I hope it was helpful whether or not you'd be using it for social media or something else, seeing how you can break up everything into three sections for your different needs. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.